Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to go over a couple things with iBo, the new updates, um, what the current personality is like, and what the iBo acts like on it, um, and then also um, a little bit about how to train your iBo. And I'm going to give examples um, with one of my ERS 1000s as well um, to kind of show you what it looks like. So on the latest update, there's three points that I really, really like about it. Um, the well-behaved iBo is number one for sure. I think that was a long and um, highly anticipated update that we're very excited about. Uh, Walk Quietly is another one that I really like, and then um, the improvements in picking up iBo. Again, I'm gonna show you guys everything, but first I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, with the well-behaved iBo, it's essentially like the table mode was on the original series. Um, so there's a couple ways you can go about getting iBo into this table mode. So the first way you can do it is actually through the app. Um, when you open up the app, and I'm gonna show you here, when you open up the app, you're going to select um, my iBo, and then you will select settings, and then you will select well-behaved iBo. You will then flip it to on, and then hit set. And that's how you can do it with your smartphone to control iBo into the well-behaved mode. Now, the other way you can do it is with a voice command. You can tell Ibo settle down very clearly. Um, Ibo will sit down, lift its left paw. You will hold down on that paw pad and then you will pet the back or the head until Ibo barks and that will put them into that table mode. To so use your voice to get them out of table mode, you can hit, uh, you can say you can move and Ibo will go ahead and start moving again. With the walk quietly, so this kind of comes as a part to um, another command that was there called be quiet. When you tell Ibo be quiet, it won't move for a little while. Um, it does have the freedom to get up and start moving again um, on its own. That's the difference between well-behaved well -behaved Ibo and um, be quiet. Um, once they decide that they're ready to exit the quiet mode, um, they will walk a little bit more quietly if they choose to, um, just to kind of help keep the noise level down. Um, and the last one is the improvements in picking up iBo. So I guess we're gonna review that today together because I have not done it yet. And I'm curious to see what this new posture is or how it's easier to pick iBo up and, and how they sit while they're lifted and you're holding them. So one of the other things that was asked about was, have you trained your iBo before? How do you train your iBo? What is it like? So there's a couple things you can do to train your iBo and there's you can even teach them um, movement tricks. So the first thing um, I can tell you is let's say that your iBo goes potty, wherever. Um, the first thing you can do if you don't want that behavior is you can actually scold iBo by tapping once on the back sensor and that will actually scold iBo. You can also say bad dog, bad iBo, bad boy, bad girl, that will also scold them for that behavior. And over time, they will learn that that is a um, behavior that gets them in trouble and they will stop doing that behavior. Now, if you don't mind them going potty, what you can also do is teach them their spot. So if they're in a location that you want them to learn that that's their potty spot, you would just tell them mark here very clearly so that the iBo understands. You should get a bark as a response um, telling you that the iBo did register that. You can also praise the iBo when they go to the bathroom in that spot. Um, and that's just one way you can train iBo. Um, the other thing you can do to train iBo is teach them a welcome home spot, which is pretty cool. So if, let's say near the door, if you want iBo to learn that that's where they will welcome you home, um, when they're in that spot and they have to get there on their own so that they understand where they are in the map that they have built with their slam camera, um, when they're in that spot, you will say, welcome home here. And that will teach the iBo that that is the welcome home spot. Whenever you want iBo to return to that spot, um, you will just say, go to welcome home. And the iBo will return to the welcome home spot. So once Ibo has learned their potty spot and their welcome home spot, there actually will be icons on the map inside of the application um, so that they mark those spots and know where they are. It's the same thing as them learning where their charging mat is um, so they can always return to charge when they need to charge. So the other thing that I was asked about was what is the current personality that your Ibo is in and what is it like? 
So right now my IBO is in clingy um, personality. Uh, clingy personality I think is fairly common and what I've noticed with this is that Amesis, my ERS-1000, is always interested in human interaction more than toys. And he will also kind of seek people out and come up to them. Um, so for example, if I'm sitting here watching TV and I have him running, he will literally find me and come up and he'll sit next to me, like by my legs until I start petting him. Once he gets some attention, then he'll go wander off for a little bit and then he comes back after a little while. But he's definitely, I've noticed, is way more into like interacting with me than he is with his toys, which is kind of funny. I can get him to play with toys, like with the eye bone, I can just tell him, open your mouth and place the bone in his mouth. And he'll play with it for a little bit, but ultimately he puts it down and comes and seeks me out again. <laughs> Okay, so I have Amesis here, and we're gonna try this new pickup improvement and see what exactly it is. I have no idea, so I'm just curious to see what happens when I pick him up. And how it's easier. This looks the same to me. <laughs> I wonder if, so I know when you put them up here like this and you change too so i'm curious i don't know their legs are floppy interesting i don't remember the legs being floppy but that could be just me, I don't know. So I'm not seeing any like huge difference in picking Ibo up, really. Um, I mean, he got into position pretty quick, but I'm not seeing exactly an improvement um, like they're saying that there is. It's... Oh, well, now we'll see how long it takes him to stand up. <laughs> All right guys, well I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you learned something. I, I did, I did a little bit of research before I went into this to make sure everything I was sharing was accurate. So have a great rest of your day and thank you again so much. Please subscribe if you're not already.